Hi guys, uh, Poop13 here, and um, today I have Wife Bow for you versus uh, the Crowbar 1987 uh, from YouTube. This is a decent battle I had a few weeks ago, and uh, we had a battle before this, but Crudio just dominated everything, so we decided to have a rematch. And um, this is the rematch, and uh, yeah, I brought a lot of like really uh, OU pokes, and he brought some uh, really uh, unique stuff, like uh, Blastoise, Nido Queen. Only really generic poke he brought was Ditto, but still, it was still good. So, um, he's gonna lead off with his uh, Zapdos, and I'm gonna lead off with my uh, Carudio. So, I th I'm figuring he's gonna go for an Electric type attack. I really have nothing to take it, so I'm just gonna go on my uh, uh, Carudio, I guess, to take it, almost take it, and uh, hit it with that with a Stone Edge. But he just goes for a Roar, which surprised me, and Roars me in my Repulsion. So, he just goes for a T Bolt, and that's gonna um, do. Uh, about a like over over a hundred damage to me, so uh, he gets parrot hacks also. But I get some lefties. But I guess it doesn't matter because he's already I'm already slow and I have priority too. So I go for the bulk up on the switch. It's my max uh, HP max special defense repulsion, so it's gonna take that T bolt really well. And uh, my opponent switches to a Needle Queen, and I wasn't expecting that. And uh, he sets up his first layer of toxic spikes. So I guess this is, this is some kind of weird setup, Needle Queen. Anyway. He switches out into Zapdos, I guess, predicting, I don't know, a boiling water? And I get a crit and a burn, which really, which really, really was not fun at all, because that really ruined the fun of this match. He could have lived three of those, and but whatever. So I decided to kill him off with a Mystery Blade, in case he wanted to switch and save his uh, Pokemon for later. So, he switches and goes out into uh, Needle Queen, and I'm like, okay, Needle Queen, this thing should die to boiling water, right? I'm like, max special attack, but no. This is like some kind of bulky Needle Queen, and it just hits you with an Earth Power for some minuscule, oh uh, no, not minuscule, uh, moderate damage, I guess. But I just finished off with our Boiling Water. I'm not sure if a uh, Mystery Blade would kill at that point, so I decided to go for the Boiling Water and kill it. So my uh, Crudio is just destroying stuff again, and he goes out and do his uh, Blastoise. So I, uh, I also don't know what kind of Blastoise this is. I'm actually predicting uh, some kind of like I guess hidden power, possibly hidden power electric. So I go into my Rapupu to take it, and uh, yeah, I he goes for Focus Blast, <coughs> and uh, yeah, he switches. It, it does a lot of damage, so I'm guessing he specs, and I know he's gonna switch, so I think I just go for a bulk up. And he, <coughs> excuse me, he goes into a Grand Ball, and uh, that is not gonna die from a uh, <laughs> bulk up boosted Mach Punch. He's getting with a Facade, which is almost gonna kill. I think this is like a new uh, Dream World. Uh, I think Quick Feet Grand Ball. So yeah, it's, it's actually kind of cool. So I just kill off with a mock punch, and that's the end of that grand ball. So my uh, Shofu is just sitting here being all beast, and my opponent switches out into an Articuno, which I know is probably just gonna kill me off with a some kind of attack, and it does. I get a crown mock punch, really, which also mattered, but I don't know. Hacks is hacks, so whatever. So I switch into my Arcanine. Uh, and I predicted the switch because the f like the, the fire attack is like really obvious right here. So I predicted the switch. I go for an E speed. I didn't want to go for close combat. Instead, he like I didn't want to go for a CC in case he wanted to switch into something that was like scarfed and revenge kill me. So I just go for an E speed. And here's where I find out where this Blastoise is scarfed because it outspeeds me and kills me off with a surf. So yeah, that was not cool at all. So I switched out to my uh, uh, Kajundo and. Basically, I'm hoping I can live a surf, because if I can live a surf, I can just kill back with a high jump kick, and I do live a surf. And this uh, Blastoise is going to get murdered by a high jump kick, so down goes the Blastoise, and let's get some more toxic damage. My opponent goes out into a Ditto, and it gets its eccentric ability activated, so now it's me, basically. And he goes for a U-turn, because, like, what? Ditto is scarfed, and it's going to kill me. So I'm dead now, and I get to, I, at least I have switch advantage here. So he, I see that he goes back out into an Articuno. So, I'm thinking for a little while here what I should go into. After the bit, I think I decided to go into my Karudio, because I know I can take any ice attacks, and I don't think it carries any uh, flying type moves. I mean, why would it? I decided to go for a uh, Mystery Blade, and he just goes for a Roost. It doesn't kill, because I don't know why it didn't kill. I mean, whatever. So, my uh, opponent's uh, Articuno just is sitting here at full health almost, and I'm being basically slowly weathered down by Toxic. So, I have an option here. Either I have to, like, set up combines or just let him keep on roosting his health back. So, I decided to go for a combine while he roosts back, like, 75 HP. And 
I'm just it's basically setting up on him again, like I did last time. So now I'm plus two a special attack and special defense, and he goes for sub, which kind of confused. I guess it was a good play. I mean, I just wouldn't have done anything, and he can't roost anymore. I guess it was like his only option. So he just goes for his sub. Now he's safely behind that sub, and I decided. Uh, now I'm at plus two. I think uh, boiling water will kill after plus two. Should I go for that? And he just goes for roost again. And here I'm hoping that uh. I think I go for Mystery Blade here or Boiling Water. I just hope one, uh, plus two attack off my Karudio will be able to one it KO this Articuno because the poison's really hurting me. And I decided to go for Mystery Blade. And. Yeah, it doesn't kill. <laughs> but he tried to go for sub A and it didn't, he didn't have enough HP to do it. But that's a really small amount, so that was really good. So. My, uh. Actually, this isn't even toxic damage, this is just regular poison. So. Regular poison is just starting to hurt. And he goes out into his ditto and gets his eccentric uh, ability activated. And I just go for Mystery Blade, predicting the switch. And it really worked out for me because I kill off the like Karudio. So, I need the ditto. So, well, I'm just sitting here waiting to see what he brings out. He goes back into his Articuno, and I'm just going to kill that off. So, that is a good game. Uh, Crowbar, hope you battle again, guys. Uh, qu comment question of the day is what's your favorite dragon type? As for me, I really like Gabite and Sazendora because they're cool. So go rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys some other time. Adios. Bye.